Welcome forward to day 11 of our reflections and today's theme is all about who you think or how you picture Saint Joseph in your head. So we're going, we're going to give that a lot of thought and I'll be reading from the book but just via words and, and very short sentences. But so what I would ask is if I went to you straight away, what's the first thing you think of when we say Saint Joseph? What type of man do you picture in your head? So again, if you need to stop the video at any point just to think about that and discuss that, then please do so. So I'm now going to read a question and it says the following. Why has the vast majority of art over the centuries depicted Saint Joseph as an old man? And I think that is worth pausing the video and having a discussion about that. Now I'm not actually going to tell you the answer to what the book proposes in terms of answering that. But we are going to answer some other questions or reflect on those. So in a similar vein, the questions are the following. And again remember we are trying to talk about St. Joseph here, so we're focused on St. Joseph as a man and as a spouse. So, if you were looking for a spouse, what type of man would you want him to be? And if you're a man and, you, and you're looking to get married, for example, what type of spouse would you like to be? So, you can focus on either one of those questions and it might be worth stopping thinking and coming up with your own list. Now, I'm now going to go back to the book on Day 11 Reflections and I'm just going to go through some of the words that have been used to describe Saint Joseph. And again, maybe you want to compare those words or phrases to what you came up with in terms of what is the ideal spouse or the what are the ideal qualities of a spouse so and again we're talking about a man in terms of joseph so gentleman a protector a good father strong protective yet gentle loving trustworthy defender prayerful gentle compassionate virtuous Willing to fight off the wolves for love. Slay spiritual dragons. Speak the truth with passion. Christian charity, zeal, a sacrificial man. To be at the service of those they love. And let's be honest, many people have forgotten that quality. And St. Joseph is there to remind us of that. So again, model of strength, fidelity, heroism and virtue. Willing to fight for what they love. Willing to fight for what is good, true and beautiful. Old men don't walk to Egypt. It's an interesting one. He must have been on fire with love. A blossom filled with promise and power. Young men can be chaste, heroic and holy. And I'm going to finish on a prayer Saint Joseph. I thank you, O Holy Patriarch Joseph, because we who are incapable of even knowing how to love Jesus and our Immaculate Mother know and rejoice that you at least loved her as she deserved to be loved, the worthy and true Mother of Jesus. A lot to think about, and I think we now know 
a bit more about St. Joseph and hopefully what we would want to aspire to be. God bless until tomorrow.